Baylor's geology department has grown along with the change in the university's mission over the past 20 years. The department over the last 10 years has added five new faculty members and three new staff lines. The size of the graduate student body has increased to 33 students as well as having about 80 undergraduate majors. The Baylor University Geology Department is housed in the Baylor Sciences Building, which was dedicated in 2004. It's a state-of-the-art facility that provides excellent teaching and research facilities for our students and faculty. Rather than being a, a mile wide and an inch deep, the department has chosen to develop four specialty areas in which it can achieve excellence and national recognition. The four areas are terrestrial paleoclimatology, applied petroleum research, solid earth geophysics and applied geophysics, and water research. Organic geochemistry is the study of organic matter in soils, sediment, and water. At Baylor we're doing a couple of projects. We're using organic molecules as fossils to learn more. For instance, the organic matter in fossilized soils. And we use those to tell us about ecosystems that were once present. At Baylor, we're really fortunate to have um, state-of-the-art laboratories, and our spectroscopy facilities are no exception. The mass spectrometry facilities at Baylor are what are called user facilities, so those are open to any student uh, in any scientific discipline to use. We use, for the molecular fossil work, the biomarker work, we're using a technique called gas chromatography mass spectrometry to detect and characterize those fossilized molecules. But the real workhorse of our lab, the thing that perhaps makes us unique, is uh, a tool called Nuclear Magnetic Resonance Spectroscopy, or NMR for short. And what that tool does is it allows us to study the structure of organic molecules. And we can apply that to any solid sample, any soil sample or sediment sample, that tells us what kinds of molecules are present, and it also tells us how much. The Baylor Geology Department is one of the few in the country that has an NMR spectrometer dedicated to the study of geological samples. Terrestrial paleoclimatology is the study of ancient climates preserved in the non-marine sedimentary record and the relationship between the climate, depositional environments, and life. Along with other Baylor faculty, my current research interests in paleoclimatology include climate reconstructions during the late Triassic as well as across the Cretaceous tertiary transition who are comparing climate change to changes in life. Students do much of the groundbreaking research on many of our projects. A good example is the dissertation project of Adam Davis in the Paleocene of northwestern New Mexico. My dissertation project involves the reconstruction of environmental and climatic conditions during the Paleocene in northwestern New Mexico. The visit that I did here was fantastic. The facilities here are absolutely amazing. It's really important to have good facilities where you're going to be doing a grad program because the facilities can really help you get where you need to go as far as your dissertation or your thesis is concerned. Our students are involved in a range of applied petroleum projects that include exploration scale assessment as well as enhanced recovery. One good example is a master's thesis project completed by Kim Kuiper involving a Mississippian reservoir in central Alberta, Canada. Coming from Canada, I came down to Texas here to be part of the Applied Petroleum Studies because I was able to get an opportunity that's working side by side with industry. What really drawn me to it was Dr. Ashley. He's got a lot of experience in industry working for ExxonMobil and his program, the Applied Petroleum Studies, is really geared and has this focus in developing you into a petroleum geologist. Texas and the Southwest, where there are a lot of water challenges and problems, very complex issues, it's a real opportunity to get stakeholder support for these problems and thereby have an opportunity to start students at the master's level and then add some bigger science to those problems with PhD students that might involve state-of-the-art ideas, but you have that support because you've got a problem that is very important to the public. I think that the different disciplines that we have form sort of a collective niche that we're able to work with as a group 
and interdisciplinary with other research professors in the university. We have a large number of students that come to us as undergraduates and master's students and we're able to work with research and PhD with those undergrads and masters together in a way that complements each other. My research interests are focused in understanding how trust or ecosystems respond to changing climate and changing environments and trying to um, better understand how trust or ecosystems have changed through time and how those changes are related to changes in climate or other forcing factors. In all my research projects, I find that student research is really integral to the, to the projects that we're working on. And so in all projects, I have both graduate and undergraduate students working with me on the projects. It allows us to really do multi-proxy kind of reconstructions. And, and student work is really one of the things that helps sort of drive uh, research and helps us expand in new directions and focus on different things that we would otherwise look at.